Hello. In this video, we are going to explore the shading and lighting systems in 2015 and 2018. And I'm going to show you what makes them different. What I've got set up here is an area light with an intensity of 100. And this is what it looks like in Lightwave 2015. We can see that it produces a lot of grain, even with um, light samples of 16. And this is how it looks like in 2018. And this is also with light samples 16. The result is almost completely noise free, whereas in Lightwave 2015 it is very noisy and also has the problem with when the light is close to the surface and generating lots of speckles. Um, I've made the light move up like so. So you can see that it fades out, both fade out nicely. And this difference is because of the multiple important sampling in the new shading and lighting systems. They were both completely rewritten. And um, how it works is the, the integrator in Lightfabe 2018, in this case, we're using the photoreal integrator, can sample the lights and also it can sample the BSDF. And in this case, we are using the, the standard BSDF. So we can compare apples to apples. Now, if I start the, the biggest problem in Lightwave 2015 is not the grain close to the light, even though this is vastly improved in 2018, the biggest problem comes from specularity. So let's increase the specularity to 100% for each. Let's dial down the diffuse so we can see the specular only. Now you can clearly see the issue in 2015 with the, with the grain close to the light and with an inconsistent fall off close to the light. And in 2018, you can see that the specular highlight is physically based and correct. Now we can start increasing the glossiness where another issue with the old shading system shows up. We increase the glossiness to 50. The intensity of the specular highlight is now also diminished, which is not physically correct. And we are starting to see quite bad quality close to the light again and an inconsistent fall off close to the light. Let's do the same in 2018. And as you can see, the light brightness keeps consistent and the quality keeps pretty much consistent as well. Now let's do the test with moving the light far further away. We can see that it fades away, becomes nicer quality, but too blurry in 2015. In 2018, the light keeps its brightness consistent when the light moves away from the surface, but you can, as you can see, it gets softer. Now, the biggest offender is when you use high glossiness values. The light pretty much disappears in light 2015, and in 2018, it, it stays as it should and is almost 
like a mirror reflection of the light. Let's move timeline back. And here we can clearly see the quality difference between 2015 and 2018 lighting and shading systems.